I want to munch. I want to munch. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within a podcast. What? Yeah, and it's profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. And y'all, this is really latest and greatest because... That was a big yawn, I'm little so girl. sorry. Hey, bud. I'm sorry. I'll try to be funnier, I, I guess. Can we just... No. This isn't for show, but next time I say, I'm just going to have a pre-show big burrito bowl. <laughs> Between that and the red wine I've been drinking, I look like and feel like Orson Welles a little bit. Um, okay. So this is going to wake you right up. All right, baby. AI... Robots and the inventive future of White Castle. Huh? Hey, Justin, are you going to give me 20 guesses as to what the last two words of that sentence are going to be? I know. Wouldn't have gotten there. Yeah. Paul, let's, let's see our first, let's see our first uh, image. That's a robot? It looks like a person. Well, that's amazing. That's an actual person. White Castle's been around 102 years, give or take a month or two. A journey that began Does it when, say that? Yeah. You should know press release. Um, they, they started dishing square hamburgers for five cents a piece. Still family owned. The brand's guidepost remains nostalgic. Create memorable moments. Yet the hey, way- the longer I look at this picture, the more the eyes seem to say, please move to the next picture. <laughs> <laughs> there is no next picture. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. so sorry, person in the picture. Uh, the venerable brand has been exploring two initiatives better suited for the Jetsons. <laughs> 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 Then a tail on fast food's <laughs> original player. One was <laughs> what's become a highly publicized partnership with Miso Robotics. And it's Flippy, now Flippy 2, robot, which essentially takes over the fryer station. The other was a deal with MasterCard on drive through AI dubbed Julia. Can I just say, it's really big of them to still work with Flippy after they revealed that he shit on his friend that one time. <laughs> No, that's Blippi. Blippi, right, Blippi, sorry. Okay, my timeline is vital. To, the timeline is vital. This is a sentence from the press release about White Castle. This timeline is vital to understand. Michael Guinan, White Castle's <laughs> VP of Operation Services, shared at Restaurant Spaces. If you don't understand it, you get fired from your job as a White Castle executive. Listen to this, guys. This is from White Castle. If you are not already in robotics and you do agree that it's coming, I suggest you do it sooner than later. (laughs) Says the VP of operations at White Castle. Holy shit. This dude read like a Consumer Weekly like magazine article and was like, I'm fucking so scared right now. The only weapon I can wield in the cyber war is that I am an executive at White Castle. <laughs> I'm a jobs creator for robots. In the three years... There's a Fibonacci sequence in our window. <laughs> in the three years since cl- the collaboration, Flippy has entered 10 White Castle locations. With- and he won't leave! <laughs> <laughs> Flippy has entered 10 White Castle locations with plans to reach 100. Whose and plans? Then, Wait. Pre- and then presumably... I won't stop! <laughs> and then presumably, like, my plans- Zion will grow! Plans to stop there forever, right? They get to 100, and it's like, well, let's never do this. Yeah. This has gone far enough. To be fair, Justin, hard-pressed. Think there's more than 100 White Castle? Uh, I bet there's probably a, a, billion, a million of them. Yeah, I think there's probably um, about a million. The movies. Julia AI is about to go to its third White Castle. So there's seven robots that aren't answering to fucking anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Do the math. There's ten Flippies, three Julias, seven Flippies are just going for yeah. it every Sorry. single day. I miss this. What's Julia do? Uh, Julia is an AI that they develop with MasterCard that helps with point of sale. Oh, uh, cool, yeah. Stuff. So they... No. Flippy. Yeah. Flip stuff and works the fryer. Yeah. yeah. Julia. Yeah. They didn't name it Payee. No. They Hardy. Should, uh, no. <laughs> they should have named them Dharma and Greg with these two because they are 
total opposites, and yet somehow they can't. They love each other. That's yeah. why, because it's like, oh, we're gonna bring Julia here, and seven flippies are like, no, no, I can't work with her after the divorce. He's a straight. He's a straight laced robot. She's incorporeal. <laughs> the broader point, guys, look at this fucking white. Guy. It looks look, cool. Look how HR got here made a white castle. Well, I just assumed lightning struck the front of it. Yeah, and it burned to ash. <laughs> Listen, the AI Julia is about to go to its third white castle, but and this is a direct fucking quote. <laughs> Should be able to scale quickly on a regional level. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. So the one thing that's not a problem is this thing's just going to go nuts. Absolutely. <laughs> this thing's going to go wild, and it will not know where to stop. Okay, wait. Actually, you know what, Paul? Let's go ahead and... Um, I was hoping he'd be cute. Let's roll the beautiful flippy footage. Um, if, you, if you can, be so... If, oh. Holy shit. Look at that. Nope. All you will lose your jobs. It's okay. <laughs> Don't freak out. <laughs> We'll figure out other stuff to do. Surely there's something they can't do. Oh, shit. The robot does everything. Oh, no. I got my degree in English lit. <laughs> my acting gigs are going to come through. <laughs> I can also do surgery. <laughs> I'm just working this job to buy cyber drugs. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot for me to be scared of some sort of global phenomenon, but I will say they can't keep like a fucking McFlurry machine up and running for longer than four and a half hours at any McDonald's. There's no way. If I throw one grain of sand at Flippy, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Nobody there is like, mm, well, let me get out. Looks like this gasket's blown. There's no fucking way. It is fun that it's like, well, they took away the jobs, but then they hired like that many plus three people to maintain it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, how are you guys at cleaning out servos? Yeah, good, pretty I good, guess, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. It. I, I feel like it, I'm flashing forward to 50 years in the future the, where the robot breaks down and uh, the lady says to the guy, like, okay, you now you cook the burgers. He's like, what are you talking about? Me? Yeah. Me? That's, that's flippy job. Good joke. Good joke, amp. I have, I, in the future, none of us cook hamburgers. We leave that to robot business. In fact, Wait, in 50 years, human 50 beings years. are called amp? And, no, that's just the name of that one in the post-apocalypse. So it's weird. Okay, it's that weird that ass. they have that name, yeah. though, that's right? right? Juice, what a fucking wild name to pull, man. I'm good, I'm good at doing names now. We do three do, more. Um, Destro. Ooh. Shit. <laughs> Uh, thimble. Oh, fuck. And Crosswind. Fuck yeah. Yeah, man. Crosswind is my new best friend. So uh, you, this is what it says next in the article. You have to start by asking why. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's too late for that. The notion for a White Castle is that AI and robotics aren't there to replace hospitality. In fact, they're tools designed to amplify guest satisfaction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For a new Says age. Robo Satisfaction <laughs> Draw 9000. Right. This, this press release was written by humans, we swear. <laughs> Carol Bozer, White Castle CIO, is firmly in the camp of those who believe that AI will, quote, change everything. As soon as a few months ago, she wasn't. But then she asked a 150-plus person crowd of operators and vendors if they've used chat GPT. And more than half of them raised their hand. And this is... now. And then this, she was like, all right, make some fries. All right, I'm scared of that now. Let's, uh, let's throw everything we've got at it. I, this is what Carol Bozer, an executive at White Castle, says. All of you are beginning to realize it's coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It has been for 15 or 20 years. This is not your This is not your grandpa's robots that you used to see in the 70s that were manufacturing our cars. These are robots that are able to make decisions, to learn from things, protect humans <laughs> and stay out of their way. Anyway, I'm an executive at White Castle Hamburgers and I'm terrified. And I'm that's so where scared. I'm at. I, what I'm saying is fucking get on board with these robots because they get are... Get on board or get out of the way. Yeah. They wrote this press release for the robots to be like, we get it now. We're the burger meat now. <laughs> I know I talk shit, but I talked to 150 scientists who are scared shitless of you guys. 
Guinan says White Castle was drawn to this technology for reasons touted by industry peers. Quote, let's call it what it is. We are struggling to get enough labor on the floor. Oh, so it's our fucking fault. Julia is not taking a job away from anyone. I mean, you could pay people Wait, more. Wait, so these educated... I mean, you could just, you could just pay people no, more. No, I'd rather yeah. spend $7 no, no, trillion. Dollars. Justin, educated, driven young people. Why don't they accept these boss jobs at White Castle? Just, yeah, yeah, have these great jobs. Anyway, um, the, it says that it's not about that. It's just about make, It's not about taking a job away from anyone. Recent, it's about giving jobs to, to robots. robots. To robots. Hey, y'all, he says that, right? Because if the jo- robots are unemployed, pretty soon they'll just <laughs> turn to killing us. Yeah. He says that, and then there's another paragraph after it. Recently, at one of the locations with drive through Voice AI, a crew manager told Gaiden, Julia just went on the night shift, then added, oh my God, she just kept taking orders. What? So they've got one where it's like, listen, <laughs> it cool. <laughs> and then the next one's like, hey, the fucking robot won't stop it. We can't stop it. We don't know how to stop it. It just keeps taking orders and we can't stop the robot. Is that in its programming? Because we're out of chicken and it's looking at us. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was wild. Julia locked the doors and turned the heat up to 500 degrees. She said we're being broasted. Is that something? Once and Flippy kept high fiving us. Mm. Okay, <laughs> the problem with Flippy one, and I'm sure you're all wondering, yeah, <laughs> is his problematic uh, political <laughs> opinion. The problem with Flippy one is <laughs> it's, it helped employees stay in designated locations. What? Yeah, <laughs> workers don't move. <laughs> but the workers noted a need for human assistance on both sides of the robot. From the initial point of contact with uncooked product to when the cooked food gets placed in the holding area. So the robot's great. You just have to gingerly hand it the chicken and then take the chicken away from it but, immediately. But with flat hand, like you're feeding a carrot to right. a horse. Yeah. Don't move fast, please. <laughs> Wear the special green glove so he can differentiate. <laughs> More chicken. No, Flippy! No. It's it's really a matter of time. <laughs> Listen, we're having a lot of fun here. It's fucking terrifying. Somebody built Flippy, and they were like, hey, how much crushing power should we give the claw? And then somebody was like, ooh, that's a good question. Um... Well, how heavy is a basket of chicken wings? Like, oh, I don't know, maybe like uh, 20 pounds. All right, give it 3,000 pounds of crushing strength yeah. just to be on the safe side. In case, like, a uh, raw piece of chicken falls under a Honda. Wait, 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 hold on one second. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, I put in a line of code that's like, don't use that on people. Should be good, should be good. Let's roll. Um, Carol Bozer points to the manufacturing industry as a harbinger of what's to come for restaurants. A harbinger? A harbinger. It says harbinger in the press release? White Castle's fryer had become its bottleneck. Quote, you almost had to be an octopus to run the fryer. Or, I mean, you could just get two people. I mean, another thing. Um, You know, uh, okay, this is good. She also loves the idea of solving what's been a fast food coral for as long as the category has existed. Quote, our team members do not like doing portion control, she says with a laugh. You know they don't like using their scoops of the world. What? So basically the employees are, this is the real thing that she's saying is the humans give us too much food. And the robots will be much more strict about how much food we're allotted. Jesus in Christ. No big deal. No Should big go deal. good. Should Let me go know good. How it goes. White. You know what, White Castle? I'm watching. History's watching. History's watching. It's not where I thought it would start. No, not at all. But it never is, huh? Oh, deep. Um, okay, anyway. I, yeah, that's the deal. So the robot's doing cooking now. Cool. 